I'm gonna lift the shallows a bit more. Oh, that's such a sick shot. Yeah, that's naughty. What's up everyone? My name is Mike Will at M.Visuals. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be editing your guys' photos on the brand new ViewSonic VP2768A 4K monitor using my brand new preset collection that has just dropped. It cannot always be night. You guys have been asking me for years about my preset and what better way to demonstrate that than on your photos. Firstly, I just want to touch on the monitor that we're using today. Now this video is not sponsored by ViewSonic, but they were kind enough to send over this monitor for me to use. This 4K Ultra HD monitor has been designed specifically for creatives. With 100% sRGB and Pantone validation color, it makes your colors incredibly accurate when editing. Another really useful feature is the USB-C connectivity, which allows your laptop to be charged through the monitor meaning there's far less cables and clutter. Something else to mention is you can actually rotate the monitor into portrait. So that might help if it's a second monitor or if you wanted to edit a lot in portrait. I just wanna say quickly thank you so much to all of you for sending in your photos to the email address right here. Uh, we were inundated, we had far more than I anticipated and it's been awesome to go through them. And it's really been great to see from all over the world, you guys sending your images in for me to edit with my preset pack. Let's get right into it. So image number one we have on the screen. This is by team at team underscore lamb. So thank you very much. So the first image we have is a long exposure night shot of London. And as you can see here, we're in Lightroom and on the left hand side, we have the preset pack. It cannot always be night. So I think this is gonna look pretty good with one of my, uh, either the urban teals or urban blues. So urban blues, urban teals, urban teals, boom. You can see the preset, that's preset alone instantly brings this shot to life. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull down the exposure just slightly because I think this is a little bit overexposed. Uh, and then I'm going to pull down the blues just a little bit more in the white balance and I'm going to play around with the, the tint. I think that looks quite cool. Um, so this shot was obviously shot in landscape. So I'm gonna actually change that, the aspect ratio for Instagram. So I'm gonna change it to 5.4. So I'm gonna pull in the sides here uh, and actually just change it to 5.4. And I'm using the leading line, so I quite like the line of the barrier here. Yeah, that's quite nice. And I wanna have the bus lane sign in the middle, you guys can see in the middle there, and leading lines leading in. There we go, boom. So that's just a preset before. After you can see instantly the, the difference that has made. Uh, one of the things I'm just gonna do, these are all gonna be very super, super quick edits. I'm just gonna quickly brush on the bottom here, you guys can see on the screen, just to draw the viewer's eye a little bit more into the middle and make it a bit darker because obviously there's lots of uh, street lamps here. Boom, you can see that just draws the viewer's eye in. There we go, boom. Urban Teals, check. And thanks again to team underscore lamp for sending that in. Next one, got an awesome shot here in, I think this is Istanbul from, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna have to go to the email for this one. Pronounced, here we go, you can pronounce it, the Amet. Coffee G, big up. We've got an awesome shot of Istanbul. Uh, it's very top heavy. Well, there's a lot of negative space in the sky. So I'm gonna instantly crop to five by four. I'm gonna pull it down. I've straightened it. And I want all of the, the bottom half of the image that I can get. I, it's got leading lines coming in from kind of everywhere. So we're gonna do urban blues for this. And I'm just gonna pull down the temperature to make it really true blue. I'm gonna pull down the tint a little bit. And then what the big change is gonna be is boom, lifting the exposure. And you can see, if I zoom in, that's nice. Okay, cool. So that hasn't got any noise, it's awesome. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna use a mask and I'm going to select the sky. And that selected the sky and then I'm gonna pull it down. So you can see the blues in the sky right now that have then been brought to life. And I'm just gonna add just a tad. If I use a brush, why are you not adding? And I'm just gonna brush this bit here because you can see there's a bit missing where it wasn't blue. So. Boom, that's with urban blues. I may even want to crop in if I didn't want that, but I don't really mind that. It's kind of just like a bit of black and the, the viewer's eye is still drawn in. So what I am gonna do is pull down just slightly. Boom, before, after, urban blues, sick, moving on. Right, next image is a stunning image. I'm not gonna lie. This took me by surprise. So this is a kind of a real, atmospheric image where you can see this kind of like the, the window's been wiped a little bit. There's a lot of mist and steam on there. Is it mist or steam? What is it? Condensation, that's the word. A lot of condensation on there. Rush hour looks naughty on there. And then the other landscape ones, I mean, four. I mean, they all look, actually, they all look good on it. Not gonna lie. But let's use, I'm gonna use rush hour and I'm gonna pull the, the tint down just slightly. Bosh, 
That looks sick. Just the mood in this image is insane. The focus is on point. It's still probably the end of the night. The restaurant's closing up. You can see the bar stools are on there, are upside down, before, after, and that is by Cam underscore Visions. So the next one we have is from at Diaz. Thank you very much. We've got a, another city night shot here. Bosch, we've got another long exposure at night. I'm not sure which city this is, but it looks super cool. So again, I'm gonna probably use, I'm gonna try Urban Blues for this. So Urban Blues preset is on. Now the, the reason it looks so warm is because the temperature needs to be pulled down. So you can see instantly I pull the temperature down and it brings in that slightly truer blue. Lift the exposure a little bit, drop the highlights and boom before, after, before, after. I'm then gonna crop 5.4 for Instagram. Now I like the road, I like the leading lines of the road, so I'm just gonna crop that slightly and I'm gonna just make sure it's straight. So before and after Diaz. So big up Diaz, thanks for sending that to me. Moving on, we're gonna get through as many of these as we can, boom. We've got St. Paul's. This is a stunning shot of St. Paul's in London. I really love this, it's during the day. You can see the composition is great. We've got a person in the middle of the frame. The focus is on St. Paul's. I'm actually not gonna crop this because if I do, I'm gonna test. Yeah, as expected, it just kind of squishes it. So this was shot by Max underscore Paley underscore photography. So big up for sending this in, mate. This is a stunning image. Uh, the one thing I would say is it's just hard to crop it for Instagram, but it is what it is and I think it's a stunning shot. So I'm gonna just straighten it slightly and because this is a day shot, I'm gonna use my rush hour preset, which is city. Oh, you can see that instantly just pops. The white balance for this one is cus is uh, as shot, sorry. Perfect. That's just a straight preset edit, nothing else. Max underscore Paley underscore photography. Boom, done. Moving on, another London shot. So we've got one here shot in the London underground. Uh, so this was shot by bleak underscore graphics. Nice one for sending that in, bro. So I'm gonna crop actually quite far in, I think, and straighten, so we need to straighten this image, just because I want to kind of see where frame is. So someone is obviously waiting for the tube. Uh, the tube is moving, so it's a long exposure. I'd imagine it's handheld because it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of movement in it. So I have an underground preset, which is the underground and it's an urban. So we're gonna instantly whack that on. You can see actually how that has instantly, boom. Got those blues in there. Now, one thing I am going to do because it was shot hand, I'm guessing it was shot handheld, it's got a little bit of movement, is I'm gonna add some texture just to try and make it a little bit sharper and more textury. I never know what to say about texture. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of sharpening because I think that will, yeah, that's helped a lot. So we've done that. I'm also going to quickly drop the highlights a little bit more. But other than that, boom, okay. That's awesome, bleak underscore graphics that was using the underground preset sick before you can see after and now if i was obviously going in a bit further i'd use brushes uh, i would probably photoshop out some of the lines but i just want to show you guys how powerful these presets are and how instant the results can be okay moving on next image we've got a portrait so this is by tyler lee dot b underscore photography big up uh, this is the portrait i'm not sure the model's name but she's looking awesome they are very heavily backlit. I'm gonna crop slightly so you can see the frame is quite left and bottom heavy. So I'm actually gonna crop in just slightly straight away because I wanna pull that down so I can kind of see what it looks like with a four five. Let's see how that looks. Cool, so yeah, we've got a preset in here called show me your teeth. So we're gonna use that portrait. Boy, look at that. So it just pops before, after. So really, really nice preset that's just gonna help bring that to life. Now, I am going to check out the white balances as shot on that one, so before, after. If I drop the highlights a little bit, it pulls the figure out a bit more. Let's see, if we go into the masking, one of the most powerful tools on Lightroom, we go select subject, let's see if, yeah, so it's selected the subject pretty well. There's part up here you can see which it's selected, I don't know why it's, thought that, but if you just go minus, you can minus the brush and then that will just get rid of it. So then anything you do change is literally the model. So I'm just gonna increase the temperature on her just a little bit. I'm gonna decrease the clarity just a little bit. Lastly, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add a little bit of coolness in the temperature in the background because that will then bring about some extra cool tones. So boom, before, after, really simple edit. That was using the Show me your teeth preset. Bring up Tyler, Tyler Lee. Nice one, bro. Thanks for sending that in and thank you to the model. Next up, we've got Oliver.Visuals. These shots are insane. He sent in a lot, but they're all awesome. First one we've got here, you can see on the screen right now. 
It's in this really cool underground passage. It looks like it could be. So yeah, so we're going to instantly crop that because it is quite small. I want to make sure that the subject is slightly more centered and making sure that we do that. So if you've made it this far in the video, you're going to be rewarded because here is uh, one of my favorite and top tips, which is to always crop at 5.4 obviously for Instagram. But as I'm doing that, I then want to see what it's like, what it's going to look like at one by one, which means on my grid. So as people are scrolling through my feed, how does it look aesthetically there? If I change this to one by one, there's leading lines coming from the top, which is awesome. And there's enough at the bottom. So you can see in this top section over here, there's enough at the bottom, which then makes it look nice. So then I command Z to undo it. And now I know that that is the perfect crop. And we're instantly, we're going to whack on urban teals or urban blues. Again, city night, urban teals are going to look sick with this. We're going to pull the white balance down just slightly. And I'm going to lift the exposure because it's quite underexposed, but that's because there's a lot going on in this image. We've got the, the light stick, we've got the full background. So before, after, it looks like we've got some birds in the sky because there's a long exposure, they're moving. I'm guessing they're birds. Are they birds? Urban Teal's popping nicely there. There is that edit done. Boom. And we're going to move on. Big up Oliver for that. We've got more of his images coming in a little bit. So next up, we've got Dor. I think it's Dorak. Doruk. Thank you very much. Instagram is on the, on the, uh, screen right now as well. I don't want to trip up. I, I've tried to say this like 10 times. This is my 10th take. So we're just going to roll forward. <laughs> We've got a cool tunnel. We've got a person walking in the tunnel. What preset to use though? I'm going to try. Okay. So Urban Teal is instantly pops. Blue Hour I know is going to look good if I just change the tones just slightly. But I also think that Rush Hour might look really good. Yeah. I'm going to use Rush Hour on this one and I'm going to lift the exposure because it's quite underexposed. So there's quite a bit of noise. You guys can see the noise on the screen. So what I'm going to do is if I zoom back in, yeah, that's going to be very noisy. That's just because the blacks and the shadows have been lifted quite a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that, pull up, sorry, the noise reduction just a little bit, which will kill off a lot of that noise. Yeah, it's killed off a lot of the noise. I'm then going to crop to 5.4 because this is a very tall image. I'm then going to center it, make sure it's in the middle. And then what I am going to do actually very quickly is I'm going to brush because this person is wearing completely black. If I just brush them, right, it's not going to make a difference if I drop the exposure or drop the shadows because that is not an essential part of the image. And what it will do is it'll make sure there's no noise in that person. I've just dropped the exposure and you can see when I zoom in, if we keep dropping the exposure, that should take away some of the noise. So that's a little tip for what I do if there's if there's a person wearing black and you want to get rid of some of the noise, that will really help. Before, after, boom, brush hour, tick. That is awesome. Next shot, this is by AL Shoots. Big up for sending this over. So this is shot in landscape. And for this one, I'm going to probably use the adventure landscape preset. Now I want to bring about the more autumnal vibe to this image. You can see obviously it's shot in autumn and I'm instantly going to crop it because I don't want it to be in landscape. I want it to be in a 5.4 for Instagram. So pulling in the sides, I'm then going to pull it down slightly. And then my last thing I'm going to quickly check is how it looks one by one. So that's not the one. So I'm going to pull it in one by one. So you can see then, boom, I quite like that. That's perfect. So that's my crop that I like. A few things I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tad bit of clarity, just plus four. I'm then going to check the white balance. So the white balance is very warm for this image. If I just drop it just slightly, so that's what it would be an auto white balance. So if I just lift it up, I want to have a few blues, but I'll equally I want to keep that kind of autumnal feel. So I'm going to have it around there. And then what I am going to do to bring in some blues, I'm literally just simply going to brush tarmac here and just bring in just a couple of blues before, after, and that is using the adventure landscape. Boom. Sorted. Thank you very much for that one, Al. Moving on, we've got again one of Oliver's, which is the conditions are absolutely perfect. This is such a mad shot. And I'm going to quickly show you guys what the street pop preset does. So this is one that keeps pretty much all the colors, as I, as I mentioned, if you bought the preset pack, you already know, but this preset keeps most of the colors, but you can instantly see in the street pop, it brings about a real nice kind of natural tone and oi, that just looks sick. Mega. So before, after, boom, moving on. That was literally a preset done. Last one. We've got a car uh, from India, big up to Rahul underscore underscore Saji. I think that's how you say it. Thank you very much, mate. So. This is shot in landscape. I'm going to attempt, it's gonna be a very tight crop. Hopefully we can crop it into a Instagram banger. So if we do it by five, four, 
Oh, that's tight. No, we're gonna try Adventure Landscape, Early Morning Coffee, Adventure, which is a landscape one, but we're gonna then just increase the clarity and make it pop a little bit more. And we're gonna pull up the temperature. Um, I do wanna pull down the whites a little bit actually, and then lift the blacks. So one thing I'll just mention quickly and a tip for all of you guys shooting cars, using a polarizer during this, so a filter that basically goes on the front of the camera will really help with the reflection. So you can see here, at the front where I'm circling the mouse, it's very busy and you don't really see the car so much. So a great way to get rid of that is to use, or at least get rid of most of it, is to use a filter, a polarizing filter. So they're great. Um, I use the Polar Pro one. It's on point, it's great. I use it for all my car photography. So that image is now finished using the Adventure Landscape preset. And that brings us to a close of all of the edits. This is a absolutely banging shot of a person with an umbrella in, I think it's Vienna, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do the Urban Blues for this preset. I've whacked that on and instantly you can see that's before, that's after. Check the white balance. I'm gonna pull the white balance down just slightly. I'm gonna lift the exposure because it does need lifting, but it's very well exposed. I'm gonna lift the shadows a bit more. Oh, that's such a sick shot. Yeah, that's naughty. So I'm gonna crop 5-4. I wanna keep this reflection on the bottom half here. So if I just crop in slightly, nice. Okay, I'm gonna pull down a little bit further. If I was to spend more time, I would Photoshop this out here because it's a little bit distracting. I think you can see before, after, that's looking sick, that's using the Urban Blues. It would also work with Urban Teals very nicely. In fact, it may even look nice with Urban Teals. That's, <laughs> it works with either of them. That's a sick shot, they're sick presets. And that's it. Thanks again so much to everyone that did send in their raw photos. That was just a small portion of the images we were sent. These presets are available now to buy. The link is in the description below. If you have purchased them already, thanks very much for the support. If you haven't, do check them out. Big up for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one soon.